Captain David Riggs stood on the bridge of the Intrepid, a state-of-the-art human starship patrolling the edges of explored space. The crew had just finished a routine mission when a distress signal crackled through the communication system. Captain, we've received an encrypted distress signal, reported Lieutenant Laura Price, the ship's communications officer. Her voice was tense with urgency. David turned towards her. Can you decipher it? Laura's fingers flew over the console, working to break the encryption. Almost there. Got it. It's from the Royal House of the Trelawney Empire. They're requesting urgent assistance. Their princess has been kidnapped. David's eyes narrowed. Set a course for the Trelawney homeworld. Full speed. As the ship's engines roared to life, Laura relayed more details. The signal indicates that the kidnappers are demanding the surrender of the Trelawney Empire in exchange for the princess's safe return. David clenched his jaw. They won't get away with this. We'll get her back. The intrepid arrived at Trelan, the capital planet of the Trelawney Empire, within hours. David and his team were quickly escorted to the palace, a grand structure adorned with intricate designs and vibrant colors. Emperor Halak, a tall, regal figure with a look of deep concern, met them in the main hall. Captain Riggs, thank you for coming so swiftly, Halak said, his voice heavy with worry. My daughter, Princess Alara, has been kidnapped by a group of rebels. They demand our surrender in exchange for her safe return. David nodded firmly. We'll do everything we can to bring her back safely, your majesty. Do you have any leads on their location? Halleck motioned to a holographic map that displayed the Trelawney system. We believe they are hiding in the abandoned mines on the outskirts of our system. It's a treacherous place, heavily fortified. David studied the map intently. We'll need a small, stealthy team to infiltrate their base and rescue the princess. Halleck placed a hand on David's shoulder. Please, Captain. Alara is all I have. Bring her back. David met his gaze with unwavering determination. You have my word, Your Majesty. Returning to the Intrepid, David assembled his best soldiers for the mission. Lieutenant Laura Price, Sergeant Kyle Roberts, and Corporal Jenna Harris. They prepared for the dangerous mission ahead, checking their gear and reviewing the plan. Laura approached David as they boarded a small, unmarked shuttle. Captain, are we sure about this location? It could be a trap. David nodded. It's a risk we have to take. The longer we wait, the greater the danger to the princess. Stay sharp and follow the plan. The shuttle descended to the surface of the desolate moon where the mines were located. The landscape was rugged and barren, the perfect hiding spot for a rebel base. David and his team moved cautiously, their weapons at the ready. As they approached the mine entrance, David signaled for a halt. Remember, we need to move quickly and quietly. Our primary objective is to rescue the princess, engage only if necessary. The team nodded in unison, their faces set with determination. They entered the mine, the darkness swallowing them as they ventured deeper into the labyrinth of tunnels. The air was thick with the smell of damp earth and metal. After navigating through a series of winding passages, they came upon a heavily guarded chamber. David peered around the corner, spotting several armed rebels patrolling the area. Take them out silently, he whispered. We can't afford to raise the alarm. Laura, Kyle, and Jenna moved with precision, their suppressed weapons dispatching the guards one by one. The team advanced, their movements swift and silent. As they reached the inner chamber, David spotted a figure chained to the wall. That's her, David whispered, his heart pounding. Cover me. He moved forward, cutting through the chains that held Princess Alara captive. She looked up, her eyes wide with relief. Thank you. I thought I would never get out of here. David smiled reassuringly. You're safe now. We need to move quickly. Follow us. With Alara in tow, the team made their way back through the tunnels. But as they neared the exit, an alarm blared, and the mine was flooded with rebels. The escape had begun. The blaring alarm echoed through the tunnels of the mine, and the sound of approaching footsteps grew louder. Captain David Riggs tightened his grip on his weapon, signaling his team to take defensive positions. Stay close, your highness, he whispered to Princess Alara, guiding her to a sheltered spot behind a large rock formation. The rebels rounded the corner, their weapons at the ready. A fierce firefight erupted the confined space amplifying the sounds of blaster fire and ricocheting bullets. Take cover, David shouted, firing at the approaching rebels. Sergeant Kyle Roberts and Corporal Jenna Harris flanked the enemy, picking them off with expert marksmanship. 
Lieutenant Laura Price provided cover fire, her sharp eyes ensuring no rebel got too close. The rebels were quickly overwhelmed by the coordinated assault. As the last of them fell, the team took a moment to catch their breath. Everyone okay? David asked, scanning his team for injuries. We're good, Captain, Kyle replied, checking his ammo. But we need to keep moving. More could be on the way. David nodded, turning to Alara. Can you walk, Princess? Alara nodded, determination in her eyes. Yes, I'm ready. Then let's go, David said, leading the way deeper into the mine. Navigating the maze-like tunnels, the team moved swiftly and cautiously, the tension palpable. They encountered sporadic resistance, but their training and determination saw them through each skirmish. As they approached the exit, the sound of heavy machinery and voices grew louder. David held up a hand, signaling the team to halt. He peered around a corner and saw a large chamber filled with rebels, their leader issuing commands. Looks like we found their base of operations, David whispered. We need to take out the leader and create a diversion to make our escape. Laura nodded. What's the plan, Captain? David quickly outlined their strategy. Kyle, Jenna, and I will create a diversion on the far side of the chamber. Laura, you take the princess and head for the exit. We'll regroup at the shuttle. Got it, Laura replied, her expression resolute. As David and his team moved into position, they prepared to engage the rebels. With a nod, they launched their attack, drawing the rebels' attention and causing chaos in the chamber. Now, Laura, go, David shouted over the din of battle. Laura led Princess Alara through the chaos, keeping low and moving quickly. The rebels, caught off guard by the sudden assault, struggled to regroup. David, Kyle, and Jenna held their ground, firing at the rebels and creating as much noise and confusion as possible. The rebel leader, realizing his forces were being overwhelmed, barked orders in a desperate attempt to regain control. With the path clear, Laura and Alara reached the exit and made their way to the shuttle. As they boarded, Laura signaled the rest of the team. We're at the shuttle, Captain, come on. David and his team fought their way back through the tunnels, the sound of pursuing rebels growing louder. They reached the exit and sprinted towards the shuttle, bullets whizzing past them. Go, 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 David shouted, covering the rear as they boarded. The shuttle's engines roared to life, and they lifted off, leaving the mine and the rebels behind. As they ascended into the sky, David turned to Alara, who looked both relieved and grateful. Thank you, she said, her voice filled with emotion. You saved my life. David smiled, his eyes reflecting determination and resolve. We're not out of the woods yet, your highness, but we'll get you home. The shuttle rocketed away from the mine but Captain David Riggs knew their escape wouldn't be easy. The rebels would soon realize the princess was gone and pursue them. Lieutenant, plot a course back to the Intrepid and engage the cloaking device, David ordered. Laura Price nodded, her fingers flying over the controls. Course plotted, Captain. Engaging cloaking device now. As the shuttle shimmered and disappeared from sight, the team could breathe a brief sigh of relief. However, the sense of urgency remained. Captain, multiple hostile ships are approaching fast, Sergeant Kyle Roberts reported, monitoring the scanners. They're sweeping the area with search beams. David's mind raced. Keep us on a direct course to the Intrepid. We need to get out of their sensor range before they detect us. Princess Alara, seated beside David, looked out the viewport with a worried expression. Captain, how long until we're safe? Not long, your highness, David assured her. We just need to stay ahead of them. The shuttle weaved through the asteroid field that surrounded the planet, the cloaking device helping them avoid detection. The rebel ships scoured the area but failed to find any trace of the escaping shuttle. As they neared the coordinates where the Intrepid awaited, Laura's console beeped. We're within comms range of the Intrepid. David activated the comms. Intrepid, this is Riggs. We have the Princess and are en route to your location. Prepare for docking. Understood, Captain. Docking bay is ready replied the voice of the Intrepid's helmsman. The shuttle approached the Intrepid, its outline becoming visible against the backdrop of stars. With a deft hand, Laura guided the shuttle into the docking bay. The team disembarked swiftly, bringing the princess safely aboard. As the shuttle door opened, a welcoming party awaited them. Commander Michael Anderson, David's second-in-command, stepped forward. Welcome back, Captain. Your Highness, you're safe now, Anderson said bowing slightly to Princess Alara. David nodded. Thank you, Commander. Let's debrief in the briefing room. 
The team, along with Princess Alara and Commander Anderson, moved to the briefing room. Once inside, David initiated the debriefing. Your Highness, we're honored to have you safely aboard the Intrepid, David began. Can you tell us more about the rebels and their intentions? Alara took a deep breath. The rebels are led by a man named Darok. He was once a high-ranking officer in our military, but turned against us, believing he could lead the Trelawney Empire better than my father. They've been growing bolder, and the kidnapping was their most desperate move yet. David exchanged glances with his team. We encountered Darok in the mines. He's a dangerous man. But we'll ensure you remain safe and help your people restore order. As the debriefing continued, the intrepid sensors picked up an approaching fleet. The ship's alarm blared, and the intercom crackled to life. Captain Riggs, multiple unidentified ships are on an intercept course, the helmsman reported. David's face hardened. The rebels must have tracked us. Get to battle stations. We need to prepare for an engagement. The crew sprang into action, the ship buzzing with activity. David, Laura, Kyle, and Jenna took their positions on the bridge while Princess Alara was escorted to a secure location. Helm, plot an evasive course, David commanded. Arm all weapons and raise shields. The intrepid surged forward, evading the initial barrage of enemy fire. The view screen filled with the sight of rebel ships, their weapons charging for another attack. Return fire, David ordered. The intrepid's cannons roared to life, sending volleys of laser fire towards the rebel ships. Explosions lit up the void as several enemy vessels were hit. Captain, we're outnumbered, Laura warned. We need to find a way to even the odds. David's mind raced, searching for a solution. Launch our fighter squadrons. They can harass the enemy ships and buy us some time. The hangar bays opened, releasing swarms of sleek starfighters. They weaved through the enemy fleet, engaging the rebel ships and drawing their fire away from the intrepid. Direct hit on the lead ship, Kyle reported, his voice filled with excitement. Their formation is breaking. David seized the opportunity. Concentrate all fire on the largest rebel ship. We take it down, and the rest will scatter. The Intrepid focused its firepower on the enemy flagship, its shields flickering under the intense barrage. With a final powerful blast, the flagship exploded in a brilliant flash, sending shockwaves through the remaining rebel fleet. Captain, the rebels are retreating, Jenna exclaimed. We did it. David allowed himself a brief smile. Good work, everyone. Secure the area and ensure no more surprises. As the Intrepid's crew celebrated their victory, David knew the battle was far from over. The rebels had been dealt a significant blow, but their resolve remained strong. The safety of Princess Alara and the future of the Trelawney Empire still hung in the balance. Back on the bridge, David received a message from Emperor Halleck. Captain Riggs, I cannot express my gratitude enough. You've brought my daughter back to me and struck a decisive blow against our enemies. We're honored to help your majesty, David replied. But the fight isn't over yet. We need to ensure the rebels can't threaten the peace again. Agreed, Halak said. We will work together to bring an end to this rebellion once and for all. As the intrepid prepared for the next phase of their mission, David knew that the coming days would be filled with challenges. But with determination, courage, and the support of their allies, they would face whatever dangers lay ahead and strive for a future of peace and stability. The victory in space provided a brief respite, but Captain David Riggs knew that the rebels would not stay down for long. The Intrepid and the Trelawney forces regrouped, fortifying their defenses and preparing for the inevitable counterattack. In the command center, David, Princess Alara, and Emperor Halak reviewed their strategy. Holographic displays showed the layout of the palace and the surrounding areas. Captain, our intelligence indicates that Darok is rallying his forces for a major assault on the capital, Halleck said, his expression grim. We must be prepared for a siege. David nodded. We'll set up defensive positions around the palace and deploy our forces strategically. We need to hold the line and protect the princess at all costs. Alara looked determined. I want to help. My people need to see that their princess stands with them. David admired her courage. Your presence will inspire the defenders, your highness. But we must also ensure your safety. We'll assign a detail to protect you. As preparations continued, the atmosphere was tense but resolute. Soldiers fortified the palace walls, set up barricades, and positioned heavy artillery. The Intrepid's crew worked alongside the Trelawney soldiers, their combined efforts creating a formidable defense. The day of the attack arrived with the rising sun, 
casting an eerie glow over the city. The rebels approached, their numbers vast and their determination fierce. The ground trembled as their forces marched forward, weapons ready. All units, stand by, David ordered over the comms. Hold your fire until they're within range. From her position on the palace walls, Alara watched the approaching enemy, her heart pounding. She glanced at David, who stood beside her, his face set with determination. Here they come, Laura said, her voice steady. Get ready. The rebels reached the outer perimeter, and David gave the command. Fire! A barrage of laser fire and artillery shells erupted from the palace defenses, striking the rebel forces. Explosions rocked the battlefield, and the air was filled with the sounds of battle. The rebels returned fire, their determination undeterred by the initial losses. They pushed forward, closing the distance to the palace walls. Reinforce the front lines, David shouted. We can't let them breach the walls. The defenders held their ground, repelling wave after wave of attackers. Alara moved among the soldiers, offering words of encouragement and inspiring them to fight with renewed vigor. As the battle raged on, it became clear that the rebels had concentrated their efforts on a specific section of the palace wall. David recognized the tactic and knew they aimed to create a breach. Sergeant Roberts, take a team and reinforce the west wall, David ordered. We need to hold that position. Kyle nodded and led a group of soldiers to the west wall, where the fighting was fiercest. The rebels had managed to place explosive charges, and a section of the wall crumbled, creating an opening. We can't let them through, Kyle shouted, rallying his men. Hold the line. The defenders fought fiercely, pushing back the rebels attempting to exploit the breach. Alara joined the fray, her presence bolstering the soldiers' morale. David, observing the battle from the command center, knew they needed to act quickly to prevent a complete breach. Commander Anderson, prepare a counterattack. We need to drive them back. Anderson coordinated the counterattack, deploying reinforcements to the west wall. The combined forces of the Intrepid and the Trelawney soldiers launched a coordinated assault, targeting the rebel leaders and their heavy weaponry. As the counterattack gained momentum, David spotted Derek directing his forces from a distance. He knew that taking out the rebel leader could turn the tide of the battle. Laura, Jenna, you're with me, David said, grabbing his weapon. We're going after Darok. The three of them moved swiftly through the chaos of the battlefield, using the cover of the buildings and fortifications. They reached Darok's position, engaging his guards in a fierce firefight. Darok, realizing he was targeted, attempted to retreat. David pursued him relentlessly, determined to end the threat once and for all. They exchanged fire, their movements a deadly dance of strategy and skill. In a final desperate move, David tackled Derek, the two of them tumbling to the ground. They struggled, each trying to gain the upper hand. With a swift maneuver, David disarmed Derek and pinned him down. It's over, Derek, David said, his voice filled with resolve. Surrender, Derek sneered. You may have won this battle, but the war is far from over. David secured Derek and handed him over to the Trelawney soldiers. As he returned to the front lines, he saw that the rebel forces were in disarray. With their leader captured, their morale had plummeted, and they began to retreat. Captain, they're falling back, Laura shouted, her voice filled with triumph. David watched as the rebels fled, a sense of relief washing over him. Hold your positions and secure the area, we've done it. The defenders cheered, their victory hard-earned and well-deserved. Alara approached David, her face beaming with gratitude. Captain Riggs, you've saved my people and my kingdom, she said. We owe you a great debt. David smiled. It was an honor to fight by your side, princess. But the fight isn't over yet. We need to ensure lasting peace and stability. As the Intrepid and the Trelawney forces regrouped and began the process of rebuilding, David knew that the challenges ahead would be just as daunting as the battles they had fought. But with the strength and unity of their allies, they would face whatever came their way and strive for a future of peace and prosperity. The sun set over the palace, casting a warm glow over the victorious defenders. David looked out at the horizon, a sense of hope and determination filling his heart. The journey was far from over, but together, they would forge a brighter future. In the aftermath of the battle, the palace and the city began the arduous process of rebuilding. The Intrepid's crew worked alongside the Trelawney soldiers and civilians, restoring damaged structures and providing much-needed medical aid. Captain David Riggs remained vigilant, 
knowing that the rebellion could not have been solely the work of external forces. There had to be an inside element aiding Darok's efforts. As he oversaw the reconstruction, he also kept a watchful eye on the palace's inner workings. One evening, Lieutenant Laura Price approached David with a concerned expression. Captain, we've intercepted some suspicious communications. They're encrypted, but the source appears to be within the palace. David's eyes narrowed. Show me. Laura led him to the communications room where encrypted messages were displayed on the screen. We've been able to partially decrypt some of these. They seem to be coordinates and directives likely to the rebel forces. David studied the decrypted messages. This confirms our suspicions. Someone inside the palace is still feeding information to the rebels. We need to find out who. As they delved deeper into the communications logs, a pattern emerged. The messages were traced back to a high-ranking official in the palace, General Thorne, who had been involved in the defense efforts. David called a meeting with Emperor Halleck and Princess Alara. Your Majesty, Princess, we've discovered a traitor within your ranks. General Thorne has been communicating with the rebels. Halleck's face darkened with anger. Thorn, I trusted him with my life. This is a grave betrayal. Alara looked resolute. We need to confront him and put an end to this. David nodded. We'll apprehend him discreetly. We can't risk alerting any remaining rebel elements. David, Laura, and a contingent of trusted soldiers moved swiftly through the palace corridors to General Thorne's quarters. They found him in his office, poring over documents. General Thorne, David said sternly, you're under arrest for treason against the Trelawney Empire. Thorne looked up, shock and fear flashing across his face. Captain Riggs, there must be some mistake. David held up a data pad displaying the intercepted communications. These messages were traced back to your terminal. You've been aiding the rebels. Thorne's expression hardened. You don't understand. Emperor Halleck's rule is weakening our people. The rebels have the right vision for Traylon's future. By kidnapping the princess and endangering countless lives, David shot back. Your actions have only brought chaos and destruction. Before Thorne could respond, he lunged for a hidden weapon. Laura reacted quickly, disarming him and pinning him against the wall. It's over, Thorne, David said, signaling the soldiers to take him away. As Thorne was led out in restraints, Emperor Halleck and Princess Alara entered the room. Halleck's eyes were filled with a mixture of sorrow and resolve. Thorne was a trusted advisor. His betrayal cuts deep. David placed a reassuring hand on Halleck's shoulder. The important thing is that we've uncovered the truth. We can now move forward and strengthen our defenses against any further rebel activity. Alara stepped forward, her voice steady. We will ensure that those who seek to undermine our kingdom are brought to justice. Traylon will emerge stronger from this. The revelation of Thorne's betrayal sent shockwaves through the palace, but it also galvanized the defenders. With the traitor apprehended, David and his team focused on reinforcing the palace's security and rooting out any remaining rebel sympathizers. As they worked tirelessly, the bond between the humans and the Trelawney grew stronger. The shared struggle had forged a deep sense of camaraderie and mutual respect. One evening, as David stood on the balcony overlooking the city, Alara joined him. Captain Riggs, I cannot thank you enough for what you've done. Your bravery and leadership have given us hope. David smiled. It's been an honor to fight alongside you, Princess. But there's still much work to be done. We need to ensure lasting peace and stability for your people. Alara nodded. Together we will build a future where our people can live without fear. Your alliance has been invaluable, and I hope it continues to grow. As the stars began to twinkle in the night sky, David felt a renewed sense of purpose. The road ahead would be challenging, but with unity and determination, they would overcome any obstacles. The capture of General Thorne marked a turning point in their struggle. With the palace secure and the rebels on the run, they could now focus on rebuilding and ensuring that the sacrifices made were not in vain. As the intrepid and the Trelawney forces prepared for the next phase of their mission, David knew that they were on the path to a brighter future. The bond between humans and Trelawney would pave the way for a new era of cooperation and peace. And together, they would face whatever challenges lay ahead. With General Thorne's betrayal revealed and the palace's security tightened, Captain David Riggs and his crew, along with the Trelawney forces, focused on rooting out the remaining rebel elements. They knew Derek's forces were still a threat, 
and it was only a matter of time before they made another move. One morning, the palace's sensors picked up a large fleet approaching the planet. The rebels were making a final desperate attempt to seize control. Captain, we have multiple incoming ships, Lieutenant Laura Price reported from the bridge. It's the rebels. They're throwing everything they have at us. David's eyes narrowed. Sound the alarm. All hands to battle stations. The palace and the surrounding city went into high alert. Defensive positions were manned, and the Intrepid launched its fighter squadrons to intercept the incoming rebel fleet. Emperor Halak, standing with David in the command center, looked resolute. This is it, Captain. We must stand firm and repel this attack. David nodded. We will, Your Majesty. We've prepared for this. The rebel ships entered the atmosphere, their weapons firing relentlessly at the palace defenses. The Intrepid's fighters engaged them in aerial dogfights, explosions lighting up the sky. On the ground, the rebels launched a coordinated assault on the palace. They advanced with heavy weaponry, determined to break through the defenses. David led his team to the front lines, their weapons ready. We hold the line here. No one gets through. The battle was intense, with both sides sustaining heavy casualties. The air was filled with the sounds of gunfire, explosions, and the shouts of soldiers. Despite the relentless assault, the defenders held their ground, their resolve unshaken. Princess Alara, refusing to stay in the safety of the command center, joined the defenders, inspiring them with her bravery. For Traylon, she shouted, rallying the soldiers. As the battle raged on, it became clear that the rebels were concentrating their efforts on a single point in the defenses, hoping to create a breach. David recognized the strategy. They're trying to break through at the east gate. We need to reinforce that position. David, Laura, and a squad of soldiers rushed to the east gate, where the fighting was fiercest. The rebels had managed to blow a hole in the wall, and their forces were pouring through. Hold the line, David shouted, firing at the incoming rebels. We can't let them through. The defenders fought valiantly, but the sheer number of rebels threatened to overwhelm them. David knew they needed a decisive action to turn the tide. Laura, get to higher ground and provide cover fire. Kyle, Jenna, you're with me. We need to push them back. Laura climbed to a vantage point and began picking off the rebels with precise shots. David, Kyle, and Jenna led a counterattack, their determination driving them forward. As they fought their way through the chaos, David spotted Darok, the rebel leader directing his forces from a command vehicle. He knew that taking out Derek would be the key to breaking the rebels' morale. We need to take out Derek, David said to his team. Follow me. With Laura providing cover fire, they pushed towards Derek's position. The fighting was brutal, but they fought with everything they had, driven by the knowledge that the fate of Traylon depended on their success. David reached Derek's command vehicle, flanked by Kyle and Jenna. He aimed his weapon at Derek, who turned to face him with a sneer. It's over, Derek, David said, his voice steady. Surrender. Derek laughed. You think you've won, Riggs? This is just the beginning. Before Derek could react, David fired, hitting him squarely in the chest. Derek fell, his expression one of shock and disbelief. With their leader down, the rebels began to falter. The defenders, seeing their chance, pressed their advantage, pushing the rebels back and reclaiming the breached area. Captain, the rebels are retreating, Laura shouted from her vantage point. We've done it. David felt a wave of relief wash over him. Secure the area and tend to the wounded. We've won, but we need to ensure the rebels can't regroup. As the dust settled and the battle came to an end, the defenders began the process of clearing the battlefield and tending to the injured. The palace and the city, though scarred by the conflict, stood strong. Emperor Halak and Princess Alara approached David, their faces filled with gratitude and determination. Captain Riggs, you and your team have saved our kingdom, Halleck said. We owe you a debt that can never be repaid. David shook his head. It was an honor to fight alongside you. We couldn't have done it without the bravery and resilience of your people. Alara stepped forward, her eyes shining with resolve. Together, we've proven that we are stronger than any threat. We will rebuild, and we will ensure that Traylon remains a beacon of hope and strength. As the intrepid prepared to depart, David looked out at the city, a sense of accomplishment and hope filling his heart. The battle had been won, but the journey was far from over. With the bond between humans and Trelawney stronger than ever, they were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead and build a future of peace and prosperity. The stars awaited, and with their newfound allies, David and his crew knew that together, 
they could overcome any obstacle and forge a brighter future for all. With the immediate threat of the rebels neutralized, the palace and the city began the difficult process of rebuilding. The alliance between humans and Trelawney had grown stronger, but Captain David Riggs knew that remnants of Darok's forces might still pose a threat. Vigilance remained crucial. One day as David and his team inspected the outer defenses, a messenger approached from the Trelawney borderlands. The man, ragged and weary, bore a message from a faction that had previously remained neutral in the conflict. Captain Riggs, I bring a message from the Free Trelawney Coalition, the messenger said. They wish to discuss an alliance against any remaining rebel forces. They believe that with Derek's fall, the time is ripe to unite against the remnants of his rebellion. David's interest was piqued. Thank you. Inform them that we will meet with their leaders. It's time to bring all factions together for the future of Traylon. Emperor Halak and Princess Alara agreed to the meeting, hoping to solidify a lasting peace. The meeting was set in a neutral territory, a picturesque valley between the two factions. As David, Alara, and their team traveled to the meeting site, they discussed their strategy. We need to show them that our alliance is strong and that we're committed to peace, Alara said. This could be the key to rebuilding our nation. David nodded. We'll need to be prepared for anything. Trust needs to be established, but caution is necessary. The meeting commenced under a tent in the valley, with representatives from the Free Trelawney Coalition seated across from David, Alara, and Halak. The coalition's leader, a stern but fair woman named Saren, opened the discussion. We've seen the destruction caused by Derek and his rebels, Saren said. We want to ensure that such chaos never threatens our people again. But we need assurances that this alliance will be mutually beneficial and just. David spoke with conviction. We share the same goal, Saren. Darak's fall was just the beginning. Together we can build a stable and prosperous future for Traylon, free from the threat of tyranny. Alara added, We've already begun the process of rebuilding, and we want all of Traylon's people to have a voice in our new government. This alliance is not just for protection, but for a unified future. Saren studied them, then nodded. Very well, we'll join you, but on one condition. We must be allowed to help shape this new government. Our people must have representation. Halak agreed. It is only fair. Together we will create a council that represents all factions and ensures that peace and justice prevail. With the alliance secured, the process of rebuilding Traylon gained momentum. Representatives from the Free Trelawney Coalition joined the council, and the palace became a hub of activity as plans were laid out for the reconstruction of the kingdom. Captain David Riggs and his team remained to assist with the transition, their presence a reminder of the strength of the human Trelawney alliance. The bond between the two species had grown deeper through shared struggle and mutual respect. One day, as David and Alara walked through the bustling city streets, they saw the fruits of their labor, buildings being restored, markets bustling with activity, and people working together to rebuild their homes. We've come a long way, Alara said, her voice filled with hope. Our people are stronger and more united than ever. David nodded. It's amazing what we can achieve when we stand together. This alliance has brought out the best in both our people. The council meetings were productive, with representatives from all factions working collaboratively to draft new laws and policies that would ensure equality and justice for all Trelawney citizens. Emperor Halak addressed the council one evening, his voice carrying the weight of their collective journey. Today marks the beginning of a new era for Traylon. We faced great challenges and overcome them through unity and perseverance. Let us continue to build a future where peace and prosperity reign. The council members applauded, their faces reflecting their determination and optimism. As the weeks passed, the rebels' influence waned, and the remaining insurgents were apprehended or surrendered peacefully. The new government, guided by the principles of equality and representation, began to take shape. David received a message from the intrepid, signaling that they were ready to return to Earth. He met with Alara and Halak to bid farewell. Your contributions to our kingdom will never be forgotten, Halak said, his voice filled with gratitude. You've helped us achieve what we once thought impossible. Alara smiled warmly. Captain Riggs, you've become more than an ally. You've become a friend. We'll continue to build on the foundation we've laid together. David shook Halleck's hand and embraced Alara. It's been an honor to fight alongside you. 
If you ever need us, the Intrepid will be there. As the Intrepid lifted off, heading back to Earth, David looked out at the stars, a sense of fulfillment and hope filling his heart. The journey had been long and fraught with challenges, but together they had forged a path to a brighter future. The stars stretched out before them, a reminder of the infinite possibilities that lay ahead. With their newfound allies, David and his crew knew that whatever challenges awaited them, they would face them with courage and unity. Back on Earth, the story of the human Trelawney Alliance would inspire others to seek peace and cooperation among the stars. And for David Riggs, the mission had reaffirmed his belief in the power of unity and the strength of the human spirit. As the intrepid sailed through the cosmos, Captain David Riggs looked forward to the adventures yet to come ready to face whatever the universe had in store with his steadfast crew and the knowledge that they had made a lasting difference. Months passed, and the alliance between humans and Trelawney flourished. Trelan was on the path to recovery, with its people united and the new government gaining stability. To commemorate their victory and solidify their alliance, Emperor Halleck and Princess Alara organized a grand celebration in the heart of the capital city. Captain David Riggs and his crew were invited as honored guests. The intrepid returned to Traylon, its crew excited to reunite with their allies and celebrate their achievements. The city was decorated with vibrant banners and lights, the streets filled with joyous citizens. As David and his team arrived at the palace, they were greeted with cheers and applause. The atmosphere was electric with hope and gratitude. Emperor Halleck welcomed them warmly. Captain Riggs, Lieutenant Price, Sergeant Roberts, Corporal Harris, you are heroes to our people. Tonight we celebrate not just our victory, but the bonds of friendship and cooperation we forged. David smiled, feeling a deep sense of pride. Thank you, Your Majesty. It's an honor to be here. The celebration commenced with music, dance, and a feast showcasing the best of Trelawney cuisine. Representatives from all factions mingled, sharing stories and strengthening their connections. As the night progressed, Alara took the stage to address the gathered crowd. Tonight, we celebrate the resilience and unity of our people. We have faced great challenges, but together, we have emerged stronger. Let us continue to build a future where peace and prosperity thrive. The crowd erupted in applause, their spirits lifted by her words. David and his crew joined in the festivities, enjoying the warmth and camaraderie of their Trelawney friends. Laura and Jenna tried their hand at traditional Trelawney dances, while Kyle and some Trelawney soldiers engaged in friendly competitions. As the night drew to a close, fireworks lit up the sky, a dazzling display symbolizing the bright future ahead. David stood beside Alara, both of them watching the spectacle with a sense of accomplishment. We've come a long way, Alara said, her voice filled with emotion. Thank you for everything, David. You've given us hope and a chance to rebuild. David nodded, his eyes reflecting the light of the fireworks. It's been an incredible journey, Alara. I'm grateful to have been part of it. The day after the celebration, David and his crew prepared to return to Earth. The mission had been a success, and their bond with the Trelawney people had never been stronger. As they packed their belongings, there was a sense of bittersweet farewell in the air. Emperor Halleck and Princess Alara came to the docking bay to see them off. Halleck's expression was one of gratitude and respect. Captain Riggs, your bravery and leadership have left an indelible mark on our history. You and your crew will always be welcome on Traylon. David shook Halleck's hand. Thank you, your majesty. We'll always cherish the friendships we've made here. Alara stepped forward, her eyes shining with emotion. David, you've been more than an ally. You've been a true friend. We will miss you. David embraced her. And we will miss you. But this is not goodbye. It's just the beginning of a new chapter for both our peoples. As the crew boarded the Intrepid, they waved farewell to their Trelawney friends. The ship lifted off, leaving Traylon behind but carrying the memories of their shared journey. On the bridge of the Intrepid, David addressed his crew. We've accomplished something incredible here. The alliance we forged will stand as a testament to what we can achieve when we work together. But our mission isn't over. There are more worlds out there, more people in need of help. Let's continue to make a difference. The crew responded with enthusiastic cheers, their spirits high. The intrepid set a course for Earth, ready for whatever adventures lay ahead. As they traveled through the stars, David reflected on their journey. They had faced immense challenges and emerged victorious. 
their bonds of friendship and unity stronger than ever. The future was filled with endless possibilities, and with their allies by their side, they were ready to face whatever came their way. The stars stretched out before them, a vast expanse of potential and hope. With their determination and courage, David and his crew knew they could overcome any obstacle and continue to forge a path toward a brighter future for all. The journey was far from over, but with each step they took, they carried the legacy of their alliance and the promise of a united galaxy. Together, they would explore the cosmos, protect the innocent, and build a future where peace and prosperity reigned supreme.